what literally just came out of the woodworks. Where have you been? It's been a year. You crazy wine rainer. You've been chasing all my hogs away. Are you the reason there's no hogs out here anymore? Huh? Oh, don't you jump all over me. Eh, this is why I am never buying another Grendel. The shooting conditions for today are just absolutely horrendous. We just got over the freezing mark. It's currently drizzling with about 97% humidity. This is a good day to test the Grendel. So today in Adventureland, I want to know if a thermal can pick up a bullet in flight. Not the best accuracy, but we're talking about box ammo. And that's probably within one MOA. Let's see, that's actually an inch. A little bit over one MOA, but my hand loads are supreme. Let's see if I could actually get this out to three, 400 yards. Well, there goes my plan to go 400 yards. Literally a swamp. Oh well, let's try to 300. Having never taken this Grendel beyond its maximum point blank range, I checked with the iStraylock app to confirm my hold. I typed in the 304 yard range at the top right corner. I adjusted for the seven mile per hour wind coming out of my five o'clock position. I tapped the reticle button on the bottom right, zoomed in and examined the hold and then settled in for the shot. I forgot to account for the drizzle we had. I adjusted for the height but forgot to hold for win. And there's the money shot. You've been chasing all my hogs away? Are you the reason there's no hogs out here anymore? Huh? Oh, don't you jump all over me. Eh, this is why I am never buying another Grendel. Not bad for 300 yards using factory ammo. It was educational thermal recording these 200 yard shots. I'm gonna slow these shots down to 70%. The first bullet didn't put off too much heat, but it is apparent the second and third bullet warmed up in the chamber because of the heat signature was more pronounced. I will slow this down now to 80% and run the bullet side by side. The left column will always be the first bullet. The right column will be the second, then third bullet. I found a really sweet load for my Hornady 100 grain Amax. I'll be headed out west in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully then I can get onto some hogs and finally test all those 6.5 Creedmoor bullets that you guys have sent me. So stay tuned for my next adventure. I'm going to show you guys as best as possible the art of catching a bullet in flight on a spotting scope what you need to do is um, go ahead and zero in on your target as much as you can get that focused and then pull it back about a quarter turn there and it's focusing on that mound now and then you take your phone and hold it see the way it locks in right there whatever you touched is where it will lock in and when your bullet crosses that trajectory, it'll catch it in flight.